Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. Today we're gonna start a little project I've been meaning to do for a while, and that's to do a 700C to a 650B conversion. Check it out after the break. So we live in a pretty interesting time to be into bicycles. A lot of the previous thinking about what the appropriate width of a tire uh, in terms of roads specifically has changed. Generally, people have accepted that a uh, wider tire is actually better, uh, certainly more comfortable, if not a little faster in some circumstances. So we're seeing manufacturers come out with bikes that are designed to run multiple wheel and tire sizes. But in this video, we're gonna see if we can do it on the cheap by taking a bike uh, designed for 700C wheels and converting it uh, to 650B. Will it work? I'm actually not sure. We're gonna kind of learn and uh, experience this project together. So why convert your bike to 650B in the first place? I think the biggest reason is for air volume. There's so much air volume in these tires that they really uh, suck up uh, road vibration and even take some bigger hits. And also uh, flotation, there's uh, just a bigger contact patch that lets you navigate some kind of more squirrely terrain. So I think that is primarily my main motivation for wanting to try this conversion. So I do want to say before I get any further in this video is if you convert your bike uh, to 650B, uh, you do it at your own risk. There are some kind of drawbacks that I'll get into uh, in just a second. Uh, talking to the engineers at Salsa, um, specifically about the bike and converting it, uh, they actually don't recommend it, so I'm kind of going on the flyer here, and uh, this is not endorsed by Salsa Bicycles, so sorry, uh, Joe Miser, he's the engineer at Salsa. I uh, just had to try it, you know, rise the spice of life. So one thing to, to know is that not every 700C bike can be converted into 650B, and uh, there's a couple things to look for. Uh, the first one is clearance. If you've got an older style road bike, uh, you're just not gonna have the clearance in the chain stays and in the fork to clear a fatter tire. So before you go to the trouble of buying all the parts and tires and tubes and everything, uh, make sure that you have enough clearance. Another big stumbling block, uh, but probably less so in today's bicycles that are disc brakes, is the brake mounting. So a lot of people that do road conversions actually have to get uh, the brake brazons removed and then rebrazed into a slightly lower position. But if you've got a newer disc brake bike, uh, of course, this isn't a problem because the braking all happens in the middle of the wheel and you don't have to deal with adding or you have to deal with removing and adding brazons for calipers. But another big, big consideration is that when you put in a 650B uh, wheel and tire, it's going to lower your bottom bracket and it's going to lower your cranks, therefore your pedals. And will, and will probably increase uh, the chance of pedal strike on rocks or if you turn aggressively. So this is a big thing um, to be aware of and probably why uh, a lot of people are kind of wary of doing 700C to 650B conversions. As you can see, uh, I'm using the Compass Tire Switchback Hill, which is 700 by 48. And I went with this tire because I knew I needed as big a tire as I could possibly get. Uh, so I don't lose too much overall diameter. So with all that said, I'm gonna switch out the wheel set, the tires, the tubes, and the rear cassette, and convert the Salsavia into a 650B bike. All right, so I got the front end wheel, no problem. Had to do a little brake adjustment just because it was a different rotor, a different hub, and that kind of moved the spacing of things. Uh, so now I'm gonna put in the rear wheel. So you gotta remove the cassette, put on this guy, and adjust the brakes. All right, so I've got the rear wheel in, the front wheel in, and surprisingly, uh, the, the 650B tires and the wheels uh, fit fine, even with the fenders. Uh, plenty of tire clearance in the fork, uh, plenty of tire clearance here in the rear uh, chainstay. It's looking good. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop uh, this portion of the video here today. Uh, I'm kind of running out of time for filming 
and tomorrow I'll actually hop on the bike and give you some ride impressions to see uh, if there is any noticeable difference between the 700C uh, wheels and tires I've been running and this fatter, wider, more supple 650B uh, tire and wheel combination. So if you want to see uh, that video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this whole conversion process, uh, leave those in the comments below. And thanks for watching.